Good morning, everyone. Well, I wanted to still go ahead and have chapel chats. So I am going to be finishing since it's the last week in March and um, the just a couple days before our spring break, I decided may as well just read our last story because it's got a good moral too. Before we read though, you know we have to sing. We can't have our chapel time without some songs. So this song came to mind because I hope that as we are in this craziness that we have going on, that we have peace, that we'll remember to have joy, and that we'll have love. And so I hope that you'll sing that along. You figured out what it was, right? Um, so sing it along with me. Ready? I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. We're good, right? We don't have to go on. Okay, well then, if we do go on, you're gonna have to give me a second. <clears throat> Whew, okay. I really don't like that one, guys. Oh, okay, fine. All right, fine, for you, because I love you, I'll do it. I, no, just kidding. Whew, just give me a minute. I, nope, not yet. Okay. <sighs> okay. I've got peace, joy, love like a river fountain ocean. I've got peace, joy, love like a river fountain ocean. I've got peace, joy, love like a river fountain ocean in my soul. I've got peace, joy, love like a river fountain ocean. I've got peace, joy, love like a river fountain ocean. I've got peace, joy, love like a river fountain ocean in my soul. I told you, it's awful. I can never quite do it. All right, good job. And let's do one more to help remind us that God is able to do all things well. He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He heals the brokenhearted and he sets the captives free. He made the lame to walk again and he caused the blind to see. He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. Good job, good singing. Well, we're going to go to today's story. I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit so it gets a little higher so you can see it closer. Okay, that works. And today's story, you'll be able to figure out what it's about really quickly, is called The Big Brag. So let's find out what's in the big brag. The rabbit felt mighty important that day on the top of the hill in the sun where he lay. He felt so important up there on that hill that he started in bragging as animals will. And he boasted out loud as he threw out his chest, of all the beasts of the in the world, I'm the best. On land and on sea, even up in the sky, no animal lives who is better than I. What's that? growled a voice that was terribly gruff. Now why do you say such ridiculous stuff? The rabbit looked down and he saw a big bear. I'm the beast, best of the beasts, said the bear. And so there. 
You're not, snapped the rabbit. I'm better than you. Pooh, the bear snorted. Again, I say poo. You talk mighty big, Mr. Rabbit, that's true. But how can you prove it? Just what can you do? Hmm, thought the rabbit. Now what can I do? He thought and he thought. Then he finally said, Mr. Bear, do you see these two ears on my head? My ears are so keen and so sharp and so fine. No ears in the world can hear farther than mine. Hum, the bear grunted. He looked at each ear. You say they are good, said the bear with a sneer. But how do I know just how far they can hear? I'll prove, said the rabbit. My ears are the best. You sit there and watch me. I'll prove it by test. Then he stiffened his ears till they both stood up high. Can you see that? Till they both stood up high and pointed straight up at the blue of the sky. He stretched his ears open as wide as he could. Shh, I'm listening, he said as he stood. He listened so hard that he started to sweat and the fur on his ears and his forehead got wet. For seven long minutes he stood, then he stirred, and he said to the bear, do you know what I heard? Do you see that far mountain? It's 90 miles off. There's a fly on that mountain. I just heard him cough. Now the cough of a fly, sir, is quite hard to hear when he's 90 miles off, but I heard it quite clear. So you see, bragged the rabbit, it's perfectly true that my ears are the best, so I'm better than you. The bear, for a moment, just sulked as he sat, for he knew that his ears couldn't hear things like that. This rabbit, he thought, made a fool out of me. So he said to the rabbit, you hear pretty well. You can hear 90 miles, but how far can you smell? I'm the greatest of smellers, he bragged. See my nose? This nose on my face is the finest that grows. My nose can smell anything, both far and near. With my nose, I can smell twice as far as you hear. You can't, snapped the rabbit. I can, growled the bear. Now he's got his nose going. And he stuck his big nose way up high in the air. He wiggled that nose and he sniffed and he snuffed. He waggled that nose and he whiffed and he whuffed. For more than 10 minutes, he snaffed and he snuffed. Then he said to the rabbit, I've smelled far enough. All right, said the rabbit. Come on now and tell exactly how far is the smell that you smell. Can you see his smell trail going all the way over the mountains somewhere far away? Oh, I'm smelling a very smuck far smell, said the bear. Away oh, past that fly on that mountain out there. I'm smelling past many great mountains beyond, 600 miles more to the edge of a pond. And then let me just show you so you can see. That's where his sniffer went, right there. And way, way out there by the pond you can't see is a very small farm. On the farm is a tree. On the tree is a branch. On the branch is a nest, a very small nest where two tiny eggs nest, rest. Two hummingbird eggs, only half an inch long. But my nose, said the bear, is so wonderfully strong. My nose is so good that I smelled without fail that the egg on the left is a little bit stale. And that is a thing that no rabbit can do. So you see, the bear boasted, I'm better than you. My smeller's so keen that it just can't be beat. What's that? called a voice from way down by his feet. And the bear and the rabbit looked down at the sound and they saw an old worm crawling out of the ground. See that worm there? Crawling out of the ground. Now, boy, said the worm, you've been bragging a lot. You both think you're great, but I think that you're not. You are not half as good as a fellow like me. You hear and you smell, but how far can you see? Now I'm here to prove to you big boasting guys that your nose and your ears aren't as good as my eyes. 
and the little old worm cocked his head to one side and he opened his eyes and he opened them wide. Look at his eyes. <laughs> it's a pretty fun picture. I love that one. And they looked far away with a strange sort of stare as if they were burning two holes in the air. The eyes of that worm almost popped from his head. He stared half an hour till his eyes got red. That's enough, growled the bear. Tell the rabbit and me, how far did you look and just what did you see? Do you see? Whoa, he looked up past all the mountains, all the way around, almost the world. And, oh yeah, and you can see there's actually some countries that it's talking about. I don't know how well you can see that, but you'll hear about them as we read the little part. Well, boy, said the, ans the worm answered, that look that I took was a look that looked farther than you'll ever look. I looked cross ocean the way out to Japan, for I can see farther than anyone can. There's no one on earth who has eyesight that's finer. I looked past Japan, then I looked across China. I looked across Egypt, then took a quick glance across the two countries of Holland and France. Then I looked across England and also Brazil, but I didn't stop there. I looked much farther still. And you see, that's where they are. And it went all the way around the world till that look came back here. Let's see what he's gonna say. And I kept right on looking and looking until I looked round the world and right back to this hill. And I saw on this hill, since my eyesight so keen, the two biggest fools that have ever been seen. And the fools that I saw were none other than you, who seem to have nothing else better to do than sit here and argue who's better than who. Then the little old worm gave his head a small jerk and he dived in his hole and went back to his work. That little worm was pretty smart, wasn't he? He noticed that those two, the rabbit and the bear, were arguing about who was better. Is that what we're supposed to do, boys and girls? Not at all. We're all precious in the Lord's eyes and God made each of us special. And maybe he did give somebody a better skill at one thing or another, but that doesn't mean that you're better than anybody else. I talk to my students about this all the time. Some of them are better in math, but that's okay because the ones that are better in math, many times they're not great at spelling or they're not as good at history where somebody else might be. Instead of finding what the Lord gave you and bragging about it, Take what the Lord gave you and use it for him because he's given you that ability. He's given you that talent and he doesn't want you to keep it to yourself. This is a time where we can share and help and encourage one another. So don't be like the big brag. Don't brag about the things that you have or the things you can do. Use those things to help somebody else, to encourage somebody else and to help them to feel just as good and by telling them that they're doing a good job at something as well. So I just really wanted to take that time today just to share that with you because I think it's such an important thing. Sometimes we get so caught up of oh, all of these stories from Yertle the Turtle to um, Gertrude McFuzz with her big tail that she wasn't content with. Yertle the Turtle wanted to be the highest and the best. And now we have our bear and our rabbit that wanted to be better than each other. All of these have such a good moral that teach us, be content with who you are. Don't try to walk all over people to get somewhere where you're not supposed to go. And also don't brag. Just be thankful for the talents that God has given you. And when you have those talents and you figure out what they are, use them for him. Because if it weren't for God, you wouldn't have the talents that you have. He made us. And he gave us the things that we have and we ought to be thankful to God for what he's been able to do. So I hope that you'll take these lessons and think about them and remember them. And I hope that you all have a wonderful spring break. If this gets sent to any other classes, um, I'll be giving my class a special message later. But um, we're just so thankful that we can still have this opportunity to kind of chat and catch up. So Hope you guys have a wonderful spring break and a wonderful rest of your day. Talk to you soon.